It's the addition of the Visual X Masterclass with Mr. Kanyele going on with our Meta Finance. Let's look at how they set this one. It was question 10, March 2009. Let's call it our data. Rowan plans to buy a car for 125000 He pays a deposit of 15% and takes out a bank loan for the balance. The bank charges 12.5% per annum compounded monthly. So I know that my N, I multiplied by 12, my I, I, I divide by 12. Calculate, number one, the value of the loan. Number two, the monthly repayments on the car if the loan is repaid. It's clear that we're dealing with a loan here, which is PV in this, in this particular case. Let's collect our data. Rowan plans to buy a car for 120,000. I, I, I don't know what that is, but I know that it's the price of the car. It is how much? It is 125. Right? He pays a deposit of 15%. 15% of how much? Of 125,000. Uh, let's calculate that quickly. 15% of 125, it will give us a. One eight seven five zero. It is eighteen thousand. That's what he paid. So the car is worth one hundred twenty-five thousand. He pays a deposit of fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of how much of that amount? So fifteen over hundred times one hundred twenty-five. It will give us eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty, and takes out a bank loan for the balance. Now, if if let me just check the loan. This car is worth 125,125,123 minus the deposit that I pay, which is 18,750. 18,750. How much is the loan? This is what it needs to borrow from the bank. It is 106,250. So the loan that he owes the bank will be 106250 The car was worth 125000 He paid a deposit of 18750 So this is what he takes out as the loan. And takes out the bank loan for the balance, yes. The bank charges are, there comes I. The bank charges 12.5% per annum compounded monthly. That becomes important. Uh, so my I, in this case, will be equals to 12,5 over compounded monthly. This was going to be percent, which is 100, and there's this 12 here. So it's over 1,200. Right? Uh, compounded monthly. Calculate the value of the loan borrowed. <laughs> the first question you've already answered. The question says, calculate the value of the loan borrowed. How much did he borrow? This is 10.1. Let's respond to 10.1. the value of the loan borrowed. We've already calculated as we are interpreting our data here. So 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 the loan is equals to 106 250. This is what he needs to borrow from the bank. Let's look at the next question that they've asked this site. Uh, calculate the monthly repayment on the car if the loan is repaid over six years. Ah here comes N. The same information is also applying here, and yet we are, we've added N. It is paid over six years. N is equal to six. Remember what we did to I. We divided by 12. When you divide I by 12, you must go and multiply N by 12. You only do that if it is in years, but it is, if it is already in months, you don't have to. This one says, the monthly repayment on the car if the loan is repaid over six years. So it is still in years, not in months. So I've got to multiply it by what? By 12. Uh, six times 12, six times 12. This is 72. So my N in this case will be 72 months. Right? The monthly repayment on the car if the loan is repaid over six years. What are the monthly installments, the monthly repayments in this particular case? Uh, that is X. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for X. Number one, is this a future value or a present value? It is a present value because this guy is driving this car and he's paying it back. The loan that he took was this amount at this interest rate. Uh, 
is going to be paying it for 72 months, how much will he be paying? Let's calculate that. We know that it is PV and the formula for PV is PV is equal to the installments into 1 minus into 1 plus I raised to the power minus N all over I. This is the formula to use, right? But what is it that we are looking for in this particular case? I want us to look at this carefully. Oh, we're looking for the installments. This is the installments. Uh, I would prefer that when we do the installments, we make X the subject, because we're looking for N. Let's, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's work on this together. This is what we're looking for. We want to leave X this side and remove everything. The first thing to remove is this one. So, the X would be equal to, I'm leaving X this side. I've got to multiply this by that, so it's going to be PV times I. How do I get rid of this? Divide by it on both sides. So I'm going to be dividing by 1 minus into 1 plus i raised to the power minus n. You close this bracket. This is the formula to calculate the value of x. You can create it. Let's recap. I'm look, I want to leave x this side. This is the first thing to remove. It will multiply this side and becomes that. Then we get rid of this one. Divide by it on both sides. So that's what we will have. Now it becomes very simple, simple substitution. So the monthly installments in this particular case will be equal to how much is the loan? Remember the loan is not 125. We've already done it here. It is 106,250 and we've labeled in question one. So the loan is my PV, it's 106,250 rand times. What is the interest rate? Are we given any interest rate here? Yes, we are given the interest rate. It is 12,5 over 1,200. Right? That's my numerator. Let's go and attend to our denominator. In this particular case, our denominator would be 1 minus into 1 plus the interest rate, which is 12,5 over 1,200. You close this bracket, raised to the power, minus n. What is our n in this particular case? R was 6 times 12, which gave us 72. All right? Don't forget to close the bracket. Then from here, you go straight to your answer. You don't write so many things. You take your calculator, the calculator will do the rest. Let's work this thing together. Let's go together. Uh, it's a fraction pattern because we've got a fraction. Uh, what do we have there? We've got 106 to 50 uh, times another fraction. The numerator is 12,5 and the denominator there is 1,200. You go down, uh, we've got a, a bracket, bigger bracket, then you've got 1 minus and another bracket as you see it, uh, 1 plus then the, 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 the fraction button which is 12,5 then we go to the denominator there which is 1,200 uh, then you close that bracket then we go to the power uh, minus uh, 72 Then you close this bracket. Then you press equal sign. Ah, this is what we have. It is uh, 2104, 2,104 and 93,7. So it's going to be comma 9,4. Ah, the installments that it needs to put to pay back the loan for 106,250 will be 2,194 cents. So what is important here, you must be able to, to make X the subject of the formula in this way. Thank you.